day 20, or sorry, day 35, the blog I wrote about last night was called Hurry Up. And this was based on <clears throat> me constantly moving quickly within my mind, within my f activity here, within my day-to-day -day living. Um, I'm always going quickly. I'm always <clears throat> in my head. I have about like three or four things going on at once. I like to plan ahead. I like to, you know, um, shortcut steps, like make myself more efficient within what I'm doing. So I'll plan things in my head and, um, you know, make changes before it even happens, like, um, what's an example of this? Say if I had to go to the bank and I had to go to the grocery store, I would, within my head, always, you know, find out within where I was going if there was a grocery store with a bank in it so I could hit two spots at once and... Then I'd make the list of what I needed to get in my head so I could plan out my route in the grocery store so I could figure out the quickest way to get through the store and get out. Um, you know, I'm constantly doing this within myself and within my head. Is I like to make things easier as much as possible, and so I'm constantly rushing and getting through things to get to the next thing and <clears throat> I find it's a point of being kind of addicted to this point of accomplishing things and getting things like checked off the list and within that point it's making myself feel good because I'm accomplishing things I'm getting things done but you know a lot of the time I'll like do, do things and then go back and see what I've done and I've missed words, I've missed points. Um, I don't see words, I don't see sentences. Um, you know, I could miss things happening in the store because I'm just focused and just going. I could, you know, I've left my purses places, just completely left them there because I'm in my head thinking about things and, you know, I just don't see the purse and I just keep walking and take off without my purse. Um, and so it's this constant point of going and going and going and going within myself based on you know, constantly being in this desire in my mind to get things done quickly, get a lot of things done in my day, get things done in an efficient way. And so I've missed a lot of myself here and I've compromised myself a lot within my living based on not being practical within the physical, not taking the physical into consideration and trying to kind of sidestep the physical, practical living that has to be lived based on my desire to always get things done quickly. So, also I've seen a point of me, like, using the, using the mind to um, not have to deal with the physical, like, um, actually that's another blog, I'm not going to go into it, because I didn't really write about that point, but I saw it as I was just reading my forgiveness, but I'll do that in another blog. So anyways, so within this I just saw the point where I need to slow myself down. Um, I find the first step I'm going to implement and walk is just focusing on breathing and becoming breath within being able to stop myself when energy is accumulated and I'm at that point where, you know, 
it's like um, a climax and then I'll react and I'll go into something through becoming addicted to the energy and following the energy and then consequence will um, you know be the result so I'm going to walk this point of stopping myself from going into the consequence, going into the energy, and just working on just being here as breath and stopping myself within breathing. Because I still haven't walked that point yet to completion, and I want to, well, that's what I'm going to push myself to do is just be physical here and um, get that first part down of being able to stop myself within breath and not go into the energy, stop myself from going into the energy. So this will also help with myself, with slowing myself down within my living, becoming physical, which is becoming within the rhythm of your breathing, walking that rhythm as life, just in and out at the pace of that in and out breath and becoming physical and you know once you're here within the physical in like slowing yourself down in that moment or becoming the moment becoming here you are aware of much more you're not in your head constantly going and thinking about different things and in dimensions in your head but you're here within the physical and able to be aware of what is going on, able to catch things more, more stable, more clear here. So you are able to direct yourself within more of a consideration of yourself with everybody and everything that you're doing. So again, it's this point of walking from your mind dimensions into the physical as breath, as breath. So this will be another cool point for me to help me to get to this point of just being here as my breath and breathing and um, be here. And then from this point of being here, being in my physical participation, being aware of all of my physical movements, being here essentially as I breathe, being the living breath, I will better be able to stop myself within going into thoughts, ideas, energy, addictions, and um, be able to direct myself more efficiently and more stably. And then I can start to really push myself in physical change and, you know, getting more into my physical mind and how I've, you know, all the different levels of mind um, that need to be walked so I can go more deeper into that. But first, I'm walking this point of becoming physical, walking breath, aligning myself with the physical breath, and slowing myself down. So I'm more stable and more clear within myself and able to direct myself within this clarity and stability. So basically I'm stopping on this fast pace, hurry up, get things done mentality, slowing myself down and just aligning myself with the physical breath, physical movement, physical reality and just walking this process to here. That's the first step. Well, that's what I'm walking at the moment is just becoming real, becoming the living breath, aligning myself with the breath and stopping the consequence of energy addiction and what that leads to, the chase of trying to gain energy and be get good feelings through energy. Not worth it. So that's my vlog for tonight. Thanks for watching.